Okay, this is the direction for the factory, but uh, now I have uh, to say you hello, I have to back to my work. I can leave you with uh, Jerome, that is the marketing uh, sport innovation di okay. director. Jerome, yeah. nice to meet you. Thank you so much, yeah. dude. That was amazing. Uh, you, ciao. I hear factories, I hear factories, I hear machines going off over there. So, through here? Yeah, yeah. This way. So, this is the door to enter the Vibram wall, let's say the true Vibram wall. Let's go to rubber factory. Let's go to rubber factory. So I should explain, because we're in a factory, it's obviously quite noisy, so sorry if you uh, can't hear us that well, but lots of machines, right? Yes, yes, it's a lot of machines, so we're here in the factory, in the Rebrand factory. Just for reason, safety reason, Matt, I will give you this. Do you want to strap me up? Yeah, thank sure. you very much. I feel safer now, this So now you, you, can, you can go and have a tour. Excellent. Okay, Let's so go. lots of bags going on. Yes. So the, in the bags, you have some uh, batches, let's say. We have some ingredients. It's like uh, uh, cooking, uh, if you want to make some sauce. So we have ingredients like rubber, like uh, uh, rubber that, that um, let's say, need to be vulcanized. So we have to, have, to add some uh, ingredients that aid the vulcanization. So we saw in the other place, uh, this being done on a small scale for the, bat, for the, for the test products. And this is big scale now. Yes, isn't it? right. Here we are doing some big quantities. It's about uh, 200, 300 kilogram minimum, and can be much more than that. Okay, so it's mixed here, and then stage two is a little further on. Yes. After that, so we we take the bags and we bring the bags to the um, let's say the compounding area. We are going to throw everything inside to get like a crude compound that is going to be cooked. Okay. And so I can see through the whole machine, you've got a big strip of rubber being sort of fed into this giant beast of a thing, yeah? Yes, it's a, that, that's a very important operation because here you can feel there are a lot of bubbles into the rubber. So the bubbles are a big problem. If we go out with these bubbles into the rubber, then at the very end of the production, there is a big problem of quality. So now the rubber is turning around, turning inside, around, 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 till all the bubbles are, let's say, uh, cancelled. Okay, so it's squeezed into this big machine. It looks nothing like uh, any sole I've seen on a shoe yet. And then I've got this sort of conveyor belt thing leading to the next machine. Yes, right. This is a long trip. Yeah. <laughs> that starts from here, and it goes over there. And after that, we are starting to cut the rubber to make some smaller pieces that are going to correspond to the molds. Okay. Can you show me that stage where it's sliced into yes. something? Yes, let's go to the side. Okay. So this is a rubber cutting machine, yeah? Yeah, that's true. So from the sheets we saw before, now we have some pre-shaped soles. It's not definitive yet, but after that, we'll, we are ready to go and onto the press. Onto the press, okay. Okay, so it's fed through into this machine, onto this conveyor belt, and then ends up there. And that's looking a bit more. Can I grab it? Is that okay? Yeah, 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 take it. This is looking a little bit like a sort of sole of a shoe now. I can see that. That's right. So this is a this is a sole. You can see here the front of the sole, here at the heel. Uh, it's not very very precise yet because it's not molded. Now we'll go. We are going to take this piece and we are going to put it in the mold. And after that, we'll have a vibram sole. Okay. So the mold somewhere else. Yeah. We go okay. there. Let's go on the process. It would smell very bad in here. I thought could, like, hot rubber would stink, but it smells really good. Yeah, it's a, it's a rubber smell. Rubber is like a, it's a live material, so it, it has to smell. So after that, we saw before that we we had uh, this this piece. You remember mm -hmm. front of the of the sole and heel. We are going to take this, and the operator is going to put that into the mold. Can I feel that? Yeah. Okay. So this is our unpressed rubber about to be squished 
into the shape of a shoe. Absolutely, and everything is uh, uh, studied to have a, a very good pressure on the wall surface. Obviously, the pressure here is very, very high. I can feel the heat coming off this machine. Yes, that's right, because uh, the temperature is very, very hot. It's about 180 degrees. Why? Because vulcanization is the result of, uh, uh, let's say, to stay into the molds for a certain time and the temperature. So, matching that, we have the vulcanization process done. Okay. So, I can see this is kind of the, the imprint of a big shoe here, but presumably you have different molds for climbing shoes and all that. Absolutely. Kind of so, here we have the Karamato sole, which is the iconic Vibram sole for mountain ring and so on. So, here we are going to put this piece inside, which is the main piece, and we are going to add after that this one because this one is over the hill this will be the shock absorbing okay this is really interesting and one thing missing but the most important one is the vibram logo the vibram logo amazing so the vibram logo here you can see the vibram logo yeah let's say that here you have like a lego but it's a vibram soul yeah. one two three the vibram logo at the moment is not written vibram because it is going to be pressed yeah, I've actually got a mountaineering boot with this in it uh, and it's quite cool to see it in its truly raw form. Like, this thing takes me up mountains, it's quite nice to see it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wicked, okay. I want to see it pressed. Okay, so it's been pressed, it's come out, and next step? Next step is the uh, finishing of the sole. So, uh, as you can see now, we, we, we took the sole out of the molds and we have some rubber around the sole. We have to take it off. So it's like hand cut, that's quite a skillful job. Yeah, yeah, One yeah, that yeah. I would I would lose fingers doing that job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really, really precise. So the women that are doing this are very, very skilled. It takes about three months, four months to train a, a woman to do that. Okay. So after that, why? Because they have to be very precise. If they cut just a little bit the sole, the sole is, uh, is not good. Okay. So this is, this is the, the last stage of the process. I'll send you my CV and you can see what you think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they're put in boxes. Yeah. Uh, we're almost done, I presume. Where do you store all this stuff? So the worst the warehouse is over there on the other side of the, of the factory. We have plenty of boxes, obviously, and uh, this is the place where, let's say, a big part of the Vibram souls produced in the world are leaving the factory to go to the market. Can we see that? So the final Let's stage? Go. Matt, I want to show you this. This is really interesting. Here you have some molds. So, as you can see, there's plenty of molds. Sure, molds is very, very important because uh, if a Vibram sole is done very, very well, it is due to the perfection of the molds at the very beginning. So here you can see. So they're stored here and then they're put in that machine we saw earlier yeah, right. and that's when it's pressed yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So there's climbing shoe molds, scheme boot molds, <laughs> yeah, every, every kind of mold. Yeah. Here. So uh, for climbing shoes, it's a little bit different. We have very, very large molds. It's like sheets. And then after that, the, let's say the shoe manufacturers is cutting into the sheets to make its own size. Okay, so we've seen almost the finished product. We've seen where the molds are kept. Presumably you keep all of the soles in one place. Yeah, sure. So all the soles are kept into the warehouse on the other side here and we can go and see that. So as you said, there were hundreds and hundreds of boxes in here, all of the soles ready to be shipped out to people like La Sportiva to make the end shoe. Yeah, that's right. So uh, after that, let's say it's the it's La Sportiva game after that. So they have to take the rubber the, and the sole and they have to put that on their uh, uppers. So uh, let's say that we have done the job. Now we put that in the end of La Sportiva. It's interesting because when I knew we were coming here, I, I was trying to think like, how interesting is it actually going to be looking at the rubber bit at the bottom of my climbing shoe. But it, it is quite, it's a complicated process and there's a lot of thought that goes into that rubber bit on the bottom of my shoe. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly uh, complicated, uh, you know, for people it's not uh, common to see that. Uh, behind a piece of rubber, let's say a sole, there is about three, four months of work from studying the design and so on, developing the compound, testing and so on, uh, and to have the final piece in your hand. So it's a very, very complex work. Jerome, thank you so much for showing me around. It's been an absolute pleasure here today. Thank you very uh, much. Matt. Thank you, and I will think of you guys next time I'm uh, sticking onto 40 degree <laughs> uh, watery slab. So thank no you No problem, so much. you can do that too. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you.